Welcome to Get Decked, where we look at video games through the lens of Valve's handheld console, the Steam Deck. I'm Zep, and today we're looking at Rogue-like, Survivors-like, Hades-like, Death Must Die. We'll look at the game overall and how it plays on the deck specifically. The gameplay you'll see on screen will be a blend between PC and, and deck, but we'll be pretty clear about what we're showing you at the time. Death Must Die is published and developed by Realm Archive, the team behind whatever the f*** this is, and is the latest entry in the newly emerging survivors-like genre. Its biggest influence is definitely Hades, combining the combat boon and heat systems from Hades with the vampire survivors' use of wide open maps and enemies which encroach from the sides of the screen. It does bring new features to the table with a gear and sign system, which gives your character performance upgrades as well as unique and potentially gameplay changing abilities. These systems together make gameplay feel deep while not overwhelming the player. With a good number of variables and a sense of constant progression, the game captures the fun of finding powers that synergize to turn your character into a whirling bay blade of death and really gets that just one more run mentality that makes survivor likes and roguelikes so addictive. The player chooses one of five playable characters. The mage. The dude with a sword. The lady with a sword, who's from Scotland! Orc Barbarian, or if you hate yourself, you can play as the rogue. It's then down to the player to choose upgrades during their run to buff their chosen character. Some upgrades and boons may work better with certain characters and playstyles than others. It's always best to experiment and find out what works best for your flavour of hero. With so many variables, each run feels unique and different to the last. Experimenting isn't too punishing, as you'll soon die and start again anyway, imbued now with the knowledge of hindsight and ready to slay the minions of death all over again. That's ultimately how you'll reach your end goal, by learning a little more each run and avoiding the now obvious pitfalls. When it comes to gameplay on the deck specifically, the game runs effortlessly. The controls are responsive, and to me feel better than the mouse and keyboard gameplay on PC. The visual style is perfect for the deck, with a pixel art style leaving plenty of RAM or whatever for bringing the plethora of enemies that show up on screen to life. When in game, the Steam Deck estimates about 4-5 to five hours of battery life. This makes Death Must Die a great choice for a commute or a medium-ish plane ride. Its style of gameplay is ideal for the pick up and play nature of the deck. With runs capped at 20 minutes or half an hour once you add up all the time that you spend agonizing over which boon to pick, it's perfect for the deck, where it can take about 30 seconds to go from start up to getting into the action. Performance wise, slight frame drops aren't uncommon. Nothing game breaking, but if you decide to wipe the screen clean with one attack, or getting friendly with some of these end game mega mobs, you may feel it get a little bit sluggish for a second. But that's the same for PC, so you're not really missing out by playing it on a different platform. Ultimately, I can't recommend Death Must Die enough for any Steam Deck enthusiast. It has all the elements that I believe make for a perfect deck experience. Be wary though as it is still in early access with only one of the three planned levels available at this time and doesn't have the final fight with the game's titular death. I wouldn't blame anyone looking to wait until the full release before experiencing Death Must Die. Having said that, it is only about £5 here in the UK, $7 in the US. I already think at that price it's a bit of a steal, and that's not including any potential um, discounts that you'll find on Steam's endless, endless sales. Have you played Death Must Die? How did you beat Act 1 or the other acts if you're from the future? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and come visit us at ZepXP on Twitch where we play many of the games that we cover on this channel and more. Link is in the description. Thank you for watching and keep on decking.